Hi guys. Um, it's time. We are now on the 2nd of March. It's time for me to do a February flip through. Try saying that five times real fast. Um, it's about half of the month missing because I was so poorly, but you know, I'll show you what I got anyway. So this is my cover page. I was quite pleased with it. Um, <coughs> I had a good play with stamps. I had a little play with uh, embossing, which I'd never done before. And I loved how that came out. Um, so much so that I actually did this in the same stamp on um postcard that daryl sent to amanda so yeah so yeah i did some stamping and um i used a heart stencil i really went to town on it because it was just so much fun and then um this is my monthly calendar and i did various different colors of um the same stencil heart so yeah as you can see had the flu ill flu and that basically went on for the about good 10 days <laughs> yeah, i felt like crap um so again missed all of that out but <clears throat> and then the rest of it was quite patchy as well because i just i was so so poorly i gave up on my challenges and makeup so yeah that didn't happen had the flu my first day back was the first day first card when I came back with a really, really good one, I pulled for three days and I haven't bloody well pulled one since. I just haven't really had a chance. I should make a note of do it to do that properly tomorrow. Uh, this is my measurements page and my mood and my pain trackers. Um, as you see, my mood really, really dropped here. Um, I was just, I was just having a bad month. It was a shit month. It really was a shit month. Um, again, flu. <laughs> how many, how many ways can I ride it? You know. But yeah, I started back, and I had a couple of days where it dipped. But I tried to do, you know, I tried to get my steps back up, and I got involved in a couple of challenges and really went to town. My sleep wasn't great. This was usually due to coughing, quite frankly. Um, I was getting the hours, but I was waking up too much to cough. So there we go. My tracker again. This is my chore tracker. Again, I missed out so many things. Um, I didn't clean the kitchen doors. Um, I didn't clean the kitchen and lounge cupboards. I didn't do the outside windows and doors. But well, that's down to the weather more than anything. Um, I didn't do the cupboards and the door frames. So that stuff I desperately need to catch up on. This was week six, um, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was actually supposed to be week seven. And I kept saying to myself before I started, do week seven. It's week seven, not week six. Week seven, not week six. But then I flicked back, looked at week five and just wrote week six. And nobody noticed. Nobody said to me, uh, no, that's week seven. So, um, yeah, I just, I really just did not notice. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Um, I started a Back on the Fitbit challenges and my first words were I am getting better which was great then I had a good night's sleep then we got Chinese takeaway because you know um unfortunately my daughter and her fiance broke up but she's okay and you know that was important to me that she was okay so Callie is okay uh we watched Supernatural I took some painkillers I had limb sip <laughs> so you know it was still pretty rough this is a washi I just wanted to fill space up and then I wrote week seven. And I think it was during this week that I realised, hang on a minute, this is actually week eight. I was talking to Callie, my daughter, and I was saying to her, yeah, you know, look, and I was showing her. And then I went, but I didn't fill in week six because week five was at the end of January and then I got ill. And she was like, well, you've gone from week five to week six in your journal, mum. And that's when I realised that I numbered the bloody weeks wrong. So there we go. So on to week six. I wrote oops week seven and then on this one I wrote I totally meant eight because <laughs> it was after the fact um again quite a full week I like to write my words in you know a poignant word or phrase for the day into this my weekly because then it just you know it's nice to flick through it and go oh yeah you know that was a beautiful sunny day it's when we had a, a little mini heat wave early spring we called it here in the in the UK. I got most of my to-do list done, which was very, very nice. Uh, this is the first half of week nine. The second half of week nine is what we're in at the moment, and that's in use. It will get moved over tomorrow night, so 
yeah and then all the journaling I did was I started it I did day one and I was really really excited I sent a postcard to Amanda uh, well Daryl sent a postcard to Amanda um, you know, I was eager to do Inco Rimo. I was using my stencils. We had some snow. I was going to do this challenge. And then I came down with a fever. Um, I actually wrote here, I went to bed early with a fever. I spent the night alternating between shivering and sweating. Um, I had to change my nightshirt in the night, so on and so forth. So, yeah. <laughs> And then I just got worse and I didn't do anything. It was the seventh before I actually um before I actually journaled again. So and I the first thing I wrote was things went downhill from there. I have basically been in bed or on the sofa. I have the flu and I have never been this ill. I only started eating again yesterday, so that would have been the sixth. I haven't left the house. I haven't been able to. I've been alternating between boiling and freezing, coughing constantly. My nose is so blocked and sore. My entire face hurts. I have no energy whatsoever and I keep falling asleep. Callie and Alex have been taking Daryl to school for me. Even writing this is hard work. I'm really missing being creative. My vertigo is so bad I can't even knit. I'm hoping to be back at this again soon. I missed talking to you guys as well. It was awful. Um... Then I, I, yeah, I went from the 7th to the 11th. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I wrote a little bit. Um, I decided over the weekend that come hell or high water, I was going to do the school run that on the Monday. And I did do the bloody school run. I didn't do much else, but I did the bloody school run. And just about everybody asked me how I was, except my neighbour who lives a few doors down. First thing she said was, holy cow, you look like shit. Thanks, love. <laughs> she's my friend I've known her for years um I didn't really journal much else and I had this big space so I put this gorgeous washi down I mean look at that isn't that just beautiful I love it absolutely love it so <clears throat> after that I was determined that you know life was uh life was going to get back to normal and I started to journal more regularly also a lot was going on um this was the day that my daughter and her partner broke up so yeah enough said but wherever i had a bit of space i chucked in you know a bit of journaling or one of daryl's stickers uh i think this was when my mother and i went out to lunch yes this is one of my, this is my local it's just down the road lovely lovely pub called the fighting cox and uh, they do a really really nice move uh food sorry and uh, i made an envelope which i was quite pleased about Put some food washy on it so yeah i really really enjoyed that <coughs> there's no photos or anything in here because i haven't yet done my photo video i need to stick that down again because it's come unstuck that is stuck to the bloody card underneath that's why uh. there we go that all happened when it was all being moved I had a bad night, major, major t coughing fit. My son even bought me a drink and some pangolas and ended up sleeping, sat up all night. It was awful. Um, and I received this fab card from Wendy as part of Inco Rimo. She wrote me a lovely long card, which was fab. And I will actually reply to Wendy at some point. Um, she also got a Daryl postcard. Um, which she was quite chuffed about. We sent three. Amanda was one, Wendy was second, and April, you were third, darling. And we didn't do much else. Um, I still took it easy, but we got there. And as you can see, I, you know, I started putting to there was April's card. I started putting um, two days to a page for a, uh, yeah, two days to a page for a while. Um, then we had our day of sunshine and it was fantastic. It was beautiful. It was warm. I got laundry done. I went out for a walk. Oh, it was lovely. And then we got our happy mail from Amanda, which was awesome. So I made it a little tip him. Um, I had a nice bath. Then... Um, you can't see that, but I have actually done 27 there in a stencil. And it's my daughter's birthday. So I stuck some candle washing in my happy birthday, Callie. That 
that stuff, squid ink, Faber Castell gelatos in squid ink was a pain in the fucking ass. It really was. And then the 28th um, was Alex's birthday. So we did the same thing. We were happy birthday. And I didn't really write much because he and I got quite drunk. <laughs> and it was a really, really good night. So there you go. That's February. <laughs> I did say it was going to be short because it was it was dire. I have never, ever been so ill in my whole life. Um, and I've had, you know, a lot of different childhood ailments. I've even had chicken pox, uh, not chicken pox, whooping cough. And um, I didn't feel that ill. And I'm still, I've still got a sore throat now. And it's been a month. Um, in the evenings, my throat tends to swell and it feels a bit sore. And I still have a bit of a cough. And, you know, my mum wants me to go to the doctor, but we'll see. Anyway, um I hope you enjoyed that really, really brief flip through. Um, please feel free to leave this video a thumbs up. If you hit the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Please do feel free to leave me a comment. I love comments. You will get a like or a love. And you quite probably get an answer too. Um, I love them. Okay, take it easy, guys. Have a good day. Bye.